Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're out in the flower shed working on a fresh cut flower arrangement. We've got a lot of really pretty things to work with. Okay, so first of all, I've got a branch here that I might incorporate, maybe even horizontally. I'm gonna do some experimenting with it today. I've got some noble fir boughs. See, I've got two left <laughs> right here. I might use some of those as some bulk in the arrangement. I've got some pittosporum right here. Uh, seeded eucalyptus. These were all from that initial florist order I made and it's holding really well. It's actually holding up outside in our window boxes beautifully. We've had temperatures in the teens and it looks as fresh as can be. Uh, they are protected. They're underneath, you know, the balcony area. So that probably is helping. That's probably very helpful to have that covering, but I'm really thrilled. Now we do have some colder temperatures coming up. So I will report back as to how they do through that, but so far so good. We've also got a couple of poinsettias, which I got them on sale. This one is obviously why it's kind of scrawny. We're going to be cutting them apart anyway. And I'll talk about how to process the stems before you put them in water so that they won't wilt. This one looks pretty good though. I mean, that's nice and full. I'm taking this a different direction than traditional, you know, red and white for a Christmas arrangement. I thought it would be fun to take it kind of more pinks and peach and white as well. Look at these roses right here. I did get some white roses. These are Hypericum, right? I think that's Hypericum. I'm not sure. We've got some white stock, white tulips. They were selling these white tulips in bunches with like a couple little stems of evergreen, but how sweet is that? Love to see that little spring too. And if we want to get real fancy, I brought these out. These are left over from the Hartley tree. And I thought if we do use this branch, Maybe we can hang some of those off of them. I really don't have a super clear vision as to how this one's gonna come together, but I wanted to at least talk you through the initial steps of how I set up my container to get it ready for an arrangement, and then also how to process the poinsettia stems because those are really the only things other than you know cutting and arranging the rest of the flowers that are kind of important for this one. Before we get into our project, I wanna show you the weather out here today. It's gorgeous. Look at that blue sky nice and sunny it's a little bit breezy and the breeze is fresh but other than that oh it's so nice see our dahlias all tucked in right there everything else is snow floor we got a bunch of fresh snow yesterday so you know it kind of warmed up and it rained on us for a couple of days like two and a half days and then uh, it got cold again. We didn't know it was supposed to snow yesterday, but it snowed for a good portion of the day. And I do have the heater on. It is starting to warm up in here, but I didn't come out here early enough. Usually I like to turn it on like 45 minutes before my project and I forgot. So I'll probably be, wear be wearing my coat for a little while until it warms up enough to feel comfortable. So the table where this is going is right in the center of a room with a chandelier right over the top of it. So I do wanna make it large enough scale to where it can hold its own in that space. So I've chosen this large champagne bucket. I think we can create something really beautiful out of here. I really just need to focus most of my interest on the front because even though the back of the arrangement will face another room, we're not in that other room as much. Uh, so you're really just gonna see it from this side primarily. To prep this vase, we're going to take a piece of chicken wire. See, this is just a little piece of cut chicken wire. You can get rolls of it at like Home Depot or at feed stores. Uh, the nice thing about it, it's very easy to mold. So I cut a little piece off the roll. We mold it into this kind of rough sphere shape. And what this will allow us to do is put it down in the vase. You won't even see it. And then when you put your stems down in the vase, it gives them something to hold on to or this will hold on to the stems so that they don't, you know, shift about in the vase because there's nothing more frustrating than getting your arrangement kind of the way you want it and then having a branch kind of like fall, like the weight of the branch falls and it ruins the rest of the look of the arrangement. It's happened many times to me. Oof, it's not a good sound. Okay, let me tip this so you can see what it looks like in there. So pretty easy. Then we're gonna put our water in and I've got my water in this bucket right here. I have already mixed in four of these little packets of floral preservative. These are the ones that come with bundles of flowers that you get at the grocery store, which is a lot of what I'm gonna be working with today. I do have liquid floral preservative that I order that I love, but I don't keep it out here because I don't want it to freeze. So I've already mixed that into the water. We're just gonna pour this in. You know what, I think I'm gonna go get a little bit more water. Okay, perfect. With the branch that we're going to be using today, this is one of the branches off of our old lilac 
shrub. It's kind of like a tree. And I've used these in several arrangements. They're actually really good in kind of fall Halloween arrangements because they've got kind of that gnarly look. But what I want to do, I want to see about possibly resting it on the vase like this which this would almost act like a frog in and of itself if you attach it to the top of your vase and then just kind of weave stuff in around it. So if you want to attach stuff like this to your vase, of course this doesn't need water, which is really nice, but I've got this florist tape. I don't even know where it's right here. It's just sticky green tape. And I'm going to just put a few pieces around where the branch meets the vase just to kind of hold it together here. So see how I'll just tape right here and we'll have enough fluff, you won't see that in the end. And then we're just gonna tape it. I think that might even be sufficient, but I'll go ahead and do the other two. You could also create a grid of this over the top of your vase and use this as a frog as well, works great. The only other thing I really wanted to talk through before I start making this arrangement is the poinsettia. So I'm gonna move the vase to the side quick um, so that I can demonstrate how we process those stems. The thing about poinsettia is when you cut their stems, they start leaking white sap. They're a type of euphorbia, they all do it. Uh, if you cut the stem and put it right into the water, they're gonna wilt immediately. They're just gonna release all that, that sap and it doesn't work out very well. So you have to singe the end of the stem right after you cut it and it kind of seals in all of that sap, all of that moisture and it keeps them nice and you can use them as cut flowers. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut one of the stems that I'm probably not gonna use, like this little little one down here, it doesn't have a very long stem at all. Uh, so let me cut it and we'll singe it. Okay, see that white sap starting to come out of the branch right there, or the stem? just singeing the end like that to where it stops flowing. Uh, so there's no more white sap coming out of the end of that stem. That's all you have to do in order to use them in an arrangement like this. So other than that, it's just putting this thing together. I do think now that I'm looking at this pot from the back side, since I moved it up there, I like the way the branch looks from this angle better. So I'm gonna flip it around before I start creating my flower arrangement. So let's just do this. Got it done and I love how it turned out. The framework that that branch added in right from the gate was just amazing. I don't normally do that and I just thought it would be fun to try and it allowed me the opportunity to hang some of those icicle ornaments. I think that just kind of added the finishing touch and because they're going in such a dark room, I think that will help kind of pick up any light that does make it in there. And I'm loving the different color palette. I've done a lot of red, a lot of that, you know, for the holidays, it's kind of fun to do something pink. Didn't that turn out so fun? I love the icicles hanging there. They just pick up a little bit of extra light, a little bit of sparkle, and the poinsettias were so fun to work in here. And this one, I removed as much of the soil as I could from the root ball and I cut it as low as possible. And that's the whole entire plant right there. I didn't cut those off individually. The other one was too, short and it was branched differently so this is an individual and then i tucked the other two or three around the back so this is the back side of the arrangement like i said this side just doesn't get seen as much so i do want there to be some color you know and some pretty things but it doesn't need to be as highly decorative as the front and i love seeing the branch come through right here that's kind of the trunk and then the bigger part over there on the right hand side it just gave this arrangement a little bit of a different shape 
and I like that. I don't want it to all be, you know, one uniform shape. I want there to be some movement. And I think the branch gave it that. Now the stalk in here, oh, that was my favorite flower to work in this arrangement. This one right here, bright, pure white. Of course, the tulips are really fun, but that stalk is fluffy and adds a little bit of weight and a lot of bright, a lot of brightness to the, the whole display. But before I put any of the color in this arrangement, I worked on the bulk, you know, the pittosporum. I think that was maybe one of the first branches I put in was the pittosporum. I used a little bit of the noble fir, some of the seeded eucalyptus. And when you get that weight in the arrangement, it's so easy just to pop flowers here and there where there's openings, like natural openings. I used kind of a big bow right in here. It kind of came straight out and I tucked it in under the chicken wire in there. Everything just worked out great. Now I have to get this beast inside. <laughs> Everything in this arrangement will last for quite a long time. I mean, I think I'll get at least, I think I'll get till Christmas out of this arrangement. Christmas is next Saturday, Christmas Eve. So definitely I'll just keep it topped up with water. We should be good to go with all of these flowers. Um, they have the floral food in there, which does help, uh, but keeping it topped up is the main thing. And honestly, because I'm putting this in a darker room where it's not getting a ton of bright light, they do last longer when they're not subjected to a lot of that. Also, this is what I have left over. I didn't use any of the roses, so now I get to do something fun with those. There's more of these berries and then just a few of the white tulips left over. I overplan big time most of the time, but I would rather be able to make a few other little bouquets than kind of run out right in the middle of this. And I'm just so thrilled with this whole thing. So that's pretty much it for today. I don't think that there's any details I'm leaving out. I will take it inside, but we'll just kind of show you some, you know, shots of what that looks like in there. It never, in the landing, it never looks good on video or pictures because there's so much random light coming in from other rooms. Um, and it's fairly dark, like I said in there, when I turn on the light, it looks orange in person, it looks awesome. <laughs> I love that room. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of a change of pace uh, today. And I loved it. I enjoyed myself out here thoroughly. So thanks for watching and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.